So anyway, I'm gonna have to, I made like another video about this like sexual harassment and all stuff, but then again, I was like a little bit too, a little bit too mad or something, right? You can say that, right? Because I was a little bit too upset. I was like, you know, really upset. Um, So let me just make this video like now I'm like less angry and I'm, I'm actually really tired. I didn't get to sleep for like the, um, what was it? The whole day. I didn't really get to sleep for the whole day. And I had worked like in only like in under like an hour and like 35 minutes. So I'm tired, right? So anyway, let me talk about sexual harassment at work. Um, so anyway, what happened is that I met this person. This person seemed to be nice to me. But then after seeing the person for a few days, let me let me tell you what this person do. It's at work. Um, she's actually supposed to be a person who gives me my breaks. So, she's a person that's assigned for, like, my level, um, the floor level, and for specific people, and then she gives the breaks to the certain people, because that's what the supervisors, and, you know, that's what they put on the list, the people's name, all that stuff, so anyway, whatever, she gives me my break, right? So, we get a 15-minute break, that's the first one, we get another 15 minutes, right? Two 15 minutes, then we get 30 minutes, right? 30 minutes is for lunch. And, um, that's nice, but then again, we got, like, long hours. I can work, like, um, up to, like, 12 hours almost. You know, 12 hours sometimes, actually, um, a day, so the hours are really long. So, when I first seen her, she seemed to be, um, kind of nice. And then, um, after that, she tried to set me up with somebody. Um, that didn't really work out. Um, it didn't. It's a, it's a guy. She tried to set me up with a lot of guys. Actually, not a guy. She's trying to set me up with a lot of guys, and most of the guys, you know, I'm like, you know, don't try to set me up with these people. Why do you keep doing? Why do you keep doing that? She's trying to set me up with this person. Try to set me up with that person. I'm like, no, nah, don't do that, right? There was only one guy actually liked it out of the whole bunch, but that didn't really work out well because he never really approached me. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's another story for another day. I think I already told that. Um, after that, she started getting in inappropriate. You guys know by what I mean by inappropriate? She started showing me pictures of. Her and her boyfriend having sex, and then she invited me to um for a threesome with them. I'm dead freaking serious. That's what she did, right? So if you if you if you you just you just just met me, right? Right? You just met me, and then you're trying to invite me to a threesome, and then you're showing me porn videos of yourself and your boyfriend, right? For me, it's like I barely know what's going on because I'm not actually used to this type of behavior. So I tried to be like kind of chill with it. And then I had to tell her no. And then I had to tell her no. Um, and no. Pretty much. But I tried to be calm with it. She told me not to tell nobody that I'll show her the pictures of the pornos and all that stuff, what she has on her phone. I thought it's because... <clears throat> it's a, I thought it was because it was out of embarrassment of her having it on her phone. Now I'm kind of guessing it's because she doesn't want, you know, um, pretty much the bosses to know that what, what she's showing me on her phone. Um... Yeah, she was talking about her boyfriend's size, and she said that he, she loves his size, even though, like, you know, even though she was saying it wasn't really that big. Yeah, that's the type of conversation she was having with me. Um, I wasn't really, you know, and I went, and I went past that, right? Because I'm a person, I'm a good person, actually. I'm a person that's, like, trustworthy. I don't go and run my mouth with this person, that person, this person, and a lot of people don't trust me. And then they'll trust wrong folks. But a lot of people, you know, think I'm okay. Whatever, right? It goes like that at work. Um, So I guess that's the reason why she kind of showed me that in the first place. So basically, you see a nice person, then you want to take advantage of a nice person. Um, That's pretty much what it's about. Because it didn't... Because it's not, it's not going anywhere. I'm not... I'm, it's, it's really not going anywhere good. It gets worse than this. Um, So, afterwards, for some reason, she kept... um. She kept, uh, what was it, insisting on, um, what was it, going out with me or something like that. Oh, I want to go out with you. Oh, you can go and buy a dress and all that stuff. And so for me, I thought that she's kind of talking about friendship or something. Um, it wasn't, <clears throat> right, because it kind of confused me. Go out to the club, go um, go to this and go that. I kind of thought she was talking about friendship. But then again, considering that I didn't like her attitude, you know what I'm talking about? Because even though, like, I'm chill, that doesn't mean I'm freaking stupid, you know? Even though I didn't like her attitude, I'm like, 
no, I, I don't want to go out. No, 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 no. Right? It turns out that she was asking me out on a date. That she was asking me out on a date. She even showed me a picture of um her and the girl downstairs. Um, She sits in front desk. She's kind of light-skinned. She wears red lipstick all the time. Um, she even um showed the picture of her and the girl in the front desk. And so I'm like, okay, so she saw, that's what, one thing that made me kind of back up them thinking about friendship. But then I'm like, you know, this person tried to ask you for sex, and then they showed you a porn video of the boyfriend and the porn pictures of, like, of that to you, and then, like, you want to try to trust to go out with a person like this? Listen, I'm going to tell you what I think right now. I think, because she actually tried to, um, call me on my phone, um... Just, yeah, she tried to call me, like, um, a couple weeks ago on my phone and asked me to go and get something to eat. I politely turned her down, right, and said no because I just had something to eat, right? So you guys are probably asking me, how did she get your phone number? She, the only reason why she got my phone number was because I was trying to get her to give my phone number to the guy that actually liked it. I really liked the guy. I think I still do like him. I still do, even though I forgot his damn name. You know what? Forget about it. I don't know that much, but anyway, I tried to give her the number to give to him. She calls me. I told her to leave my number once she told the guy that, um, she told him that, what she told him, that I wasn't interested anymore, um, because I was starting to have doubts about him because he wouldn't approach me. Yeah, so she told him that, even though I told her not to tell him that, and I'm not, and now I'm trying to, and now when I... After that, when that happened, I had a feeling that the only reason why she went and she told him that was because she was trying to get a date with me or something. That's the only reason why she went and she told him that. And she kind of knew that the guy wasn't going to ask me. He, didn't, he wasn't going to speak to me. Guess what? That was like that was like three months ago. I'm dead serious. He still, he still didn't speak to me. So and I guess that's the reason why she did that. So that's another thing, right? That's kind of awkward. So after she tried to... um. Asked me to go out, and I said no a hundred times. She started, for some reason, she started taking a um, paper clipboard, and she started hitting me on the butt with it, right? She told me to go over there and, like, go to the elevator, go in the elevator to the person, give it to the person in the elevator and all that stuff, knowing, knowing that I would be leaving um, the place that I'm assigned to, right? It's like where we have a station, and so no one now be leaving the place I'm assigned to. I'm not really supposed to be getting up in no elevators. You know, you guys don't walk in over there, getting the elevator. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm not supposed to be doing that. She takes her fingers, and she pushes it into my butt. And just like, and just like, and I just went to, yeah, on, on my butt. She not inside the, thank God it's not. But, and then, um, she pushed me, and then I actually went to the elevator, right? Um, and then I actually, um, I nearly almost fell over because... That was a hard push, and when a person uses their fingers, that really hurts. Okay, that really hurts. Um, for me, it's just like I'm like, okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna laugh it off because everybody's laughing, so I'm just gonna laugh it off. Yeah, that because that's this is a consistent thing in the job. Everybody laughs all the damn time when it's something that's happening to me specifically. Um, to me, it just seems like they laugh. When something happens to somebody else, something bad, they laugh. It seems like every time when something bad happens, a person laughs about it. So, um, I just kind of, like, laughed it off. And then she started taking the clipboard, right, that she had to put our, um, that she had our names on. And she started hitting me, hitting me with the clipboard, right, on my butt as hard as possible, right? And it hurt. And, um, it's just to the point where, like, I don't, I don't really know, because, like, I'm not really prepared for this. I don't really know what's going on. Um, I don't. So, what I do is that, like, I don't really do anything at all. Um, I just, I just told her to stop it. Don't hit me. Stop that. And then she just kept doing it. Now, guys, it's going to get even worse than this. It's going to get even worse. What she started doing is she started using her hands. Again, actually, she started hitting me, slapping me with my, with um, her hands on my butt, um, that's what she started doing, she started hitting me as hard as possible, as hard as possible, and it hurts, and I yell at her to stop, and I yell every time she hits me, she hits me as hard as possible, and, um, and I'm telling you guys, it hurts, and what she'll do is she'll also hit my breast, she'll hit my breast, She'll do that repeatedly again, 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 again. Everybody's laughing. I'm just, like, laughing up. <laughs> but, yeah, still, I'm always telling her to stop. 
I'm telling her to stop. She'll take my arms, she'll grab it, she'll try to put my arms up. And guys, there's a lot of customers, right? A lot of customers that pass us a lot. And it's kind of embarrassing. She'll do that. She'll put me down and all that stuff um, against the, what is it? Because we have like some bars. She pushed me against the bars. She always try to drag me around the, um, drag me around the room. And um, that's what she'll do. She'll literally take my arm and try to drag me around the room. And honestly, like, I'm really, like, to a point where, as I told you guys, I'm really unprepared. All I know what to do is to say, stop. Don't do that. Stop it. That's all I know what to do. And then tell her that I don't like that. So let me tell you guys, after this was happening, it's like, it seemed like in the beginning she was nice. But now it seems like she's really, she's really disrespectful extremely disrespectful she'll hit me she'll grab my butt and she'll start shaking it guys she'll start doing that and she had this look on her face it's the nastiest look i ever seen it's so nasty um and she do that in front of people and people don't say anything you know they don't really say anything they don't do anything they'll tell the person to stop it they don't tell a person it's wrong they don't even try to it's like for me um what do i i, I got scared I would get scared because I'm like, this person's going to hit me and they're going to hurt me. I don't even, like, it's to a point where, like, right, after this going on, she even, she even would go to the, she, I went to use the restroom. She went to the restroom. She stood outside of it and she said, open up the restroom door. I want to see your ass. Um, right? And some people, you know, some people think it's kind of funny, right? But she's dead serious. Everything she says and everything she does, everything she says, she actually meant it. When she invited me to go with her um, boyfriend for a threesome, she meant that. She meant that. When she's uh, dragging me around and touching me, she meant that. People, some people think she's joking. Um, like the supervisor who um, says, oh, don't be, she told me not to be late coming back from my break, right? Because 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, right? The supervisor said, um, not supervisor, she's lead, she's lead. The lead said that um, she's joking. But then again... This person is a person who lies. You know, you can't just assume everything is a joke when you don't know what the person is saying and doing. You should tell them to stop saying something that's wrong instead of assuming that that's it's a joke, right? Um, and I'm tell you about that a little bit on, right? A little bit later on about the the work problems I've been having. Um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you about that a little bit later on. So anyway, she came to the restroom doors and she um started bothering me about it. She wanted me to open up the door. Um. And I was actually worried. I was actually saying that, you know, it's a good thing that I locked the restroom door because if I didn't, she'll be in the restroom, right? She'll be in the restroom. Um, and um, that's scary to me because that's almost like, it's like attempted rape. It really is. It's attempted rape because it's like, you know, it's 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 not to a point where it's attempted rape because, wait, let me just, let me just think. Did she, did she actually go up to the restroom door? I don't think she pulled the knob. No, I don't think she pulled the knob. I don't remember that well, but I don't think she pulled the knob. But, like, I had a feeling that if I kept going to that restroom and if I kept, um, you know, using that um, restroom, I think that she would eventually try to pull me in there. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen now. I hope to God it won't. But I think, you know, I don't think so because we're not even able to use that restroom anymore. We're not. But let's just say that a supervisor gave me permission to use it, like a supervisor did before. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, let's just say. Um, but to me, that's kind of scary because you never know what's going to happen because this person is pushing me around, throwing my arms up, fighting, and like having me, fighting me, hitting me, touching me inappropriately. And, and they're doing it in front of customers too. And customers are looking at me and customers are stopping and getting quiet because I'm in pain, because I'm hurting, because I'm yelling right um so that's what she she did right and i had a feeling that in the future if i'm able to use that restroom right i have a feeling that she's going to go up to it and she's going to try to pull me into it and i swear to god like that day i won't have to be her ass that day i won't have to be her ass because nobody gonna tip tip rape me or anything like that right because that's attempted rape that's what it is um yeah so um after this that happened um it just it just it just crazy it's just you know, kept going on and on. She'll do it in front of supervisor. Everybody laugh about it. And then, like, for me, like, at first I was kind of, like, terrified, right? Scared. But then I started to, you know, laugh it off, laugh it off, laugh it off. But I yeah, still, I told her to stop. I told her that it hurts to tell her to stop. Um, you know, after that, kind of, 
you know, after that, I'm like, you know, I don't like her touching me. I really don't. I don't know what to do, what to do. Um, at that point, I didn't know that I could go to. What HRS told me is that they told me to, if there's any um, sexual harassment, they told me to go to them. So I think that they were actually aware. After I told the um, supervisor, I think that they were aware of me being sexually harassed. But they never, they never talked to me. They never approached me. They didn't do anything, right? Um, let me wait till I get on. <laughs> okay, it's on. So, got kind of worried that the uh, laptop turned off for me. But, um, anyway, that's what happened. They never talked to me, approached me, um, did anything about the situation whatsoever, even though I told the supervisor about it. Um, I don't know if they talked to her. I really don't. But, um, what's going on is that every time she, she would turn around, she would look at my butt. She will turn around, she will look at my butt. She'll look at me, she'll look, I mean, I had to tell her multiple times, stop looking at my butt. Um, I had to tell her, like, many times, stop touching me. So, anyway, right? Okay, so I told you guys I'm going to get to the work thing. Um, so, what she did is that the worst way you can act is that you can act, you know, unprofessionally, of course. You don't even have to do your job. So, what she did is, is that she stopped showing up for work. She not stop showing up for work, but she started um coming late, right? Because you're supposed to call out every time you don't show up. So she started coming late. Um, and so after coming late, she doesn't want to give me my break. She'll cut my break short, like by like almost ten minutes, guys. Like, and plus, like when you stand up for about like twelve hours, you you will need those ten minutes, right? You will need them, but she'll cut them almost short because guess what? She see me up there, so when she see me, she's gonna leave. Um, it's to the point where she came at 2 p.m. She's not supposed to come at 2 p.m. She's supposed to come at, at least like 11 or 12 or something like that. But she came in that time, and then she left off with other people that were off. Um, that when their time was done working, all this stuff. You know, when a person get off, she left with them, and you know that's a late time because she's leaving with them. And um, yeah, I told her that I felt like I was about to pass out. And she's just walking off laughing. She's walking off laughing. Um, yeah, and I had the next week when next week came, I felt so damn, I so felt, so, felt so damn sick that I couldn't even, um, I couldn't even, I couldn't even show up for the day. And then when I went to sleep, I woke up. I was still extremely tired. I went to sleep. I woke up still very tired. Um, yeah, that's about that's what happened to me. Uh, you know, and then like when a person wants to cut your break short, because that's not the first time she did it. She did it before, and I told her. Um, and the last time I told her, I need. I begged her because I need to use the restroom, and she didn't want to let me use the restroom. Um, she didn't let me use the restroom another time. As you guys see that, um, because I when I asked her, she's supposed to stop and then she's supposed to take my pulse. You know what I mean? And then she's supposed to let me go and use it. She 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 outright denied that. Um, she outright denied that. I told the I told the supervisor, I said that if she do this one more time, I'm going to have to tell, um, tell, sell somebody. I told the lead, not, I keep confusing her with the supervisor, but this is, um, but last time when I said supervisor, I meant it, but this is the lead person. Um, so I told the lead that when I need to use the restroom, she just walked right off. She walked right off and she said that that's not my problem. And she said that I'm not, and I asked her, am I now her list? And she said no. And I knew that that was a lie because she was the only per person that was um, late. And I was uh, one of the only people that didn't take my break. Um, so I already knew that she was lying about that. So basically I had to just stand there and pretty much hold in all of that, all of that. You know what you mean? Hold it all in. Your body gets full. You feel sick. All this stuff. You're just holding it in, Right? So I had to do that. Um, so yeah, so basically, as you guys understand, that she's been very um, bad with it, you know, time management. She's not. She's to the point where she's not even her doing her job anymore. She's not doing her job. She's showing up late, like every day. She doesn't want to um, give me my um, breaks. She doesn't want to give the full breaks. I think what she's trying to do is she's trying to take my minutes and use it for herself. Um, she told. Right, so she told the HR manager that um she having problems with me, um, and to me it's like you know I told the HR manager that I got five more minutes left on my break. Um, as you guys understand, like she told the HR manager, she told um 
the the manager of the company that hired us that I was late. I really wasn't. She told um Yeah, so as you guys can understand, she's the type of person that would like to tell on other people and say stuff that's untrue. And say stuff that's untrue. Um I believe that I was late, but maybe by like a minute. Yeah, by a minute, but that doesn't count because they don't count like as like, you know, a few minutes late or something like that. But when it comes down to it, it's like you don't tell the manager or the person who hired our company that somebody was late because they already don't like this company, period, because we're full of like black folks. This it's full of black people. So they already don't like the company, period. So when it comes to her telling people somebody something negative, that means that we can lose a damn um contract. Telling a client something negative, it really does. Because that can be like one negative thing after another negative thing. And then, so you know, it's like a needle in the haystack. Not a needle, uh, but uh, was it? Was it? Um, the hay that broke, broke the camel back? Just one little piece of hay that broke the camel's back. It could have been like that. And then that's it. Um, so, honestly, like, I'm super, I'm super mad. And it's to the point where, like, when I go to work, and I have to have that person as, um, you know, that person as a uh, reliever. I don't even want to go to a person and stand next to them. I don't even want to talk to them. You know what I mean? Because you stand next to a person, you're afraid they're going to hit you. Every time they pass, every time she passed me, I have to cover my butt. Because I'm afraid that she's going to hit me. And when she hits me, it hurts. And I don't know why she thinks she got a damn right to put her hands on me. She doesn't have a damn right to put her hands on me. Um... Yeah, because I'm afraid of that. Um, and um, I'm afraid that she might touch me inappropriately. I can't do anything. I can't move. She might end up putting her hand in my breast and hitting it. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's it's about that. When I want to use the restroom, I can't use the restroom. So basically, I have to hold it in. Um, she ends up telling the, um, get this right. When I was talking to the, no, when she was talking to the lead, she asked me, did I want my lunch? I said, yeah. But I said that under, you know, kind of, yeah. I said kind of low. The lead person was sitting right there. She turned to us. She said something. And then she turned to me and she said, oh, well, I got to go and give um, this other girl her break because she didn't take a break yet. Right? And I said, um, okay. You know, because you already gave me a lunch. Why Why are you telling me about the person's break? Because the lunch is 30 minutes. You know, the break is 15. But I said, okay. And it turns out... That the lead came to me and she said, when she asked you if you wanted your lunch, she, you said no. Yeah. It turns out the um the reliever told must have turned to her and said something. Oh, she said no. To under her breath. That's what she turned to her and said. Um and then I said and I told the lead person, I said, Yeah, I didn't say no. Um and I told her that I said, yeah, and then she said, you know, that she has to give somebody her break first because she didn't give them their break. And then the, and then the um, lead, you know, she didn't say anything after that. You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, pretty much. Um, maybe maybe she just heard wrong or something like that or whatever. Maybe she's just a person who just lied to her or whatever. But for me, I'm like... You know, I don't I don't like this lying. I don't like this cheating. That, that person has, you know, been doing all this stuff to me, she doesn't even deserve to have a damn job. She doesn't deserve to have a job because if you touch somebody inappropriately, you deserve to be fired. And if you keep damn doing it, you deserve to be super damn fired. You understand what I mean? So, um, anyway, it don't feel like, it don't feel like, it don't feel like really anybody cares. It really doesn't. Um, it this doesn't. And it's like, and it's just, if she hits me one more time, I'm going to have to just, you know, try to punch her in the damn nose. Um, I'm I'm dead I'm dead seriously I'm dead serious because it's not to a point where like it really makes me angry. It's to a point where like I need her to stop touching me, to stop putting her hands on me. It's to a point where like she um she even to she even had my arm under my hand um my arm under her armpit right, and she's just dragging me and dragging me across the room um and I'm trying to tell her stop stop don't do that. She put her lips on my hand and guys. I have eczema. I have eczema. Um, so basically, that means that when your skin, my skin, is like super, super dry, right? Super dry. And so therefore, it's like it's kind of eczema. It's kind of like open wounds. You know what I'm talking about? It's like open wounds. 
and she kissed that damn part of my hand that had an open wound on it. And, um, guys, that's super freaking nasty as hell. As you can tell, like, you, I told you that she had a boyfriend already, and she obviously had a problem with sex. She all, and so you know damn well she's infected with some type of disease or diseases. You all, I already get that feeling from, so I felt, like, super endangered. What I did was I took some, um, my drink, and I poured it in my hand and washed it, considering that I can't leave where I'm from. Because I was actually about to run off my, um, run off of the of the post because I was actually terrified. I was about to run off the post and go in the um, restroom that we're not supposed to go into because I was terrified for my damn health. And guys, you guys are like, okay, so you're terrified for your health um, just, you know, for that. And it's like, it's true. It really is. I mean, one disease I know that you can get on your body that you cannot get rid of and it can go anywhere on your body is herpes. And you guys know damn well a person like that is dirty. She's dirty and I felt fucking scared. Um, okay, well, anyway, you guys, um, yeah, and let me tell you, she also goes around, and she calls people, she said that I'm her friend, she said that I'm her friend, she tries to, she told me that she tell people that I'm her baby, if this lady don't stop, you know, if she don't stop doing that stuff, I'm going to have to really just knock the hell out of her. If she really don't stop, I'm really going to have to because I'm scared. I'm terrified. I don't even want to talk to her. I don't even want to walk next to her. These people ain't doing nothing about it. They really ain't. They're, really, they're not doing anything about it because if they doing something about it, she'll tell them, tell me. Um, so anyway, bye, guys.